Hello everyone, I am George. Welcome to Tech to Tinker YouTube channel where technology is explored and shared. And today's video is all about the L298 motor driver module. This little board is a cheap solution when you need to drive two DC motors with bidirectional rotation, clockwise and counterclockwise, or one stepper motor. This is very popular with the DIYers and hobbyists due to ease of use and availability. On board is a single dual H bridge motor driver integrated circuit, which is this one. On board is a 5 volts linear voltage regulator, so you may supply your Arduino from this module. This is the linear voltage regulator. The following is the pin assignments or pin outs for this motor driver module. This terminal block in the left is the output for motor A, while this terminal block in the right is the output for motor B. Supply voltage should be connected on this terminal block in front. The first pin in the left should be connected to the positive motor supply voltage. The second pin in the middle should be connected to the motor ground. It also must be connected to the ground of our microcontroller we are using. The third pin in the right is a 5 volt supply voltage for the L298N IC when the onboard voltage regulator is disabled by removing the jumper pin in CON5. This yellow jumper pin. When you remove this one, the voltage regulator is disabled. Consequently, attaching the jumper pin enables the 5 volt voltage regulator and may supply the Arduino from this pin. Next is ENA and ENB. ENA, ENB. Which enable, disable, and speed controller of the motors. Putting the jumper pin in ENA, which is equivalent to connecting a logic high, results to enabling the output of motor A, while a logic low disables the output of motor A. So, a pulse with modulation output to this pin can control a speed of the motor. This also applies to ENB. Last is the rotation logic controller pin which is IN1 to IN4. IN1 and IN2 is for motor A while IN3 and IN4 is for motor B. With this demonstration, we will need the following. The L298N motor driver module, an Arduino Uno R3 board, a DC motor, an external power supply, and some jumper wires. So let's get started. And now for the demonstration, I already connected the external power supply which is a total of 6 volts to positive 12 volts then the ground then the common ground I already also connected to Arduino ground and the 5 volts is supplied to the L298 module that's why I removed the jumper pins here to disable the onboard uh, voltage regulator. For the L298 logic control, I use digital pin 13 and digital pin 12 for the in 1, uh, sorry, for in 3 and for in 4, while digital pin 11, which is a PWM output, is connected to ENB. So, this is to control the 
speed of the motor while in 3 and in 4 is to control the direction of the rotation. And for the demonstration, I will turn on our external power supply for the L298N. Then I will send an in E, sorry, capital E to enable the motor. So now it's counterclockwise. So I don't know if it's R to change the rotation. Now it's clockwise. Clockwise rotation. By sending an L for counterclockwise. We can also control the speed. We will send an up command, U. Sorry. So better to slow it down first, sending D. Now it's up. We will send an up command. Now it's moving. Change, L. Oh, sorry, R. Then, we will speed up the rotation by sending and speed up. So, that's all for now. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Leave your comments and suggestions in the comment box. Thank you and have a good day. Bye! Happy tinkering!